dancing and cataloging all of our samples uh, and boxing them to ship back to various locations. Seven two three. Seven two three. Yeah. Seven zero nine. Um, we're going back through all of the collected samples and specimens that we had so far, and we try to make sure first of all that they haven't cataloged correctly, and because depending on what type of organism we have here. They will go to different destinations. So all the soft corals, for example, will end up in Oxford. Uh, all the hard corals will stay in Seychelles. All invertebrates will go to Siap in South Africa. We will have a taxonomic workshop. So now we're trying to make sure that depending on the type of organism we have here, they end up in a different box. So we have to create new lists and kind of make sure that we're not missing anything. Uh, yeah. Seven seven four. Ninety-eight percent. That's promising. How did that one? That's that one. So the team will be working through the next six, twelve, eighteen months, looking at the videos that we've collected on expedition. We will also be setting up a taxonomic workshop in South Africa with many of our partners and partners actually all over Africa, um, bringing in global experts to help with that analysis of identifications, um, and that will be a really fundamental part of the expedition. the president's visit here on the mission will significantly help the next expeditions that we undertake. Uh, he's, uh, his broadcast obviously helped to shine a spotlight on Seychelles and a spotlight on the ocean. So we hope that his support um, and, uh, and his ability to reach out to other leaders across the Indian Ocean will enable us to continue our work. What we're looking for are nations across the Indian Ocean that have the political will to improve the management and conservation of their oceans.